Welcome to Tally Help Videos. In this video, you will learn how to save your preferred view for a report in Tally Prime and use it when needed. You can set your preferred view as the default and see it whenever you open the report. In day-to-day -day use of Tally Prime, you may be opening a report and configuring it using F12 to view additional values. You may also be changing the report period or applying the valuation method, basis of values, and so on. You may be doing this every time. Tally Prime Release 2.0 brings a delightful feature to save your preferred views with a name of your choice. With this, you can recall your preferred view and open it, thereby saving the time and effort for configuration each time. Moreover, you can alter or delete views whenever required. First of all, let us see how to save a view for a report. Consider the case of tracking your receivables to ensure smooth cash flow in the business. A few of your customers may have delayed their payments, even after their credit period. A few of them might be delaying it until your reminder call. For this, you will use the Bills Receivables Report. Open Tally Prime. Press Alt-G, type or select Bills Receivables, and press Enter. The Bills Receivables screen opens. Click Ledgerwise Bills or simply press F8. Press F12 and set Show Opening Amount to Yes. And press Ctrl A to save the setting. Now, click Aging Method or simply press F6. Under Aging Method, select Aging by Due Date and press Enter. The Company Aging Alteration screen appears. Here, you can enter the aging period based on the credit period you allow. For example, consider that you want to view the bills that are overdue by lesser than 15 days, between 15 and 30 days, and so on. Enter 0 to 15 and press Enter. Now, enter 15 to 30 and press Enter. Similarly, enter 30 to 45 and 45 to 60. Press Ctrl A to save. You can now see the transactions that are overdue by lesser than 15 days, between 15 and 30 days, and so on. You can include any other factors to set your report as needed. Once you've configured the view, save it. Click Save View or press Ctrl L. Tally Prime suggests a name, which you can alter as you wish. Let us call it Ledgerwise Bills Receivables dash My View. Hereafter, you can use this name to open your receivables report. Let's check how the saved view can be seen. Close the report. Press Alt G. As you can see, saved views are listed. We can open Ledgerwise Bills Receivables My View by pressing Enter on it. Alternatively, you can type or select Ledgerwise Bills Receivables My View and press Enter. You can see that the report appears exactly as you configured. However, if you open Bills Receivables, the original Tally Prime report will open. Now, let us see how to set a view as default. If you are sure that you want to see your preferred view every time you open the report, Set it as the default view. For that, click Save View or press Ctrl L. Change Set This as Default View for the report to Yes. Press Ctrl A to save. Close the report. Press Alt G, type or select Bills Receivables and press Enter. You can see that the report opens as per the default view that we just set. You can now also view the report in its original form. Click Change View, select Show Original View, and press Enter. As you can see, the report opens in its original view without any settings and configurations. Let us learn how to save for this company or all companies. Press Ctrl L and set Show Additional Configuration to Yes. You can now view more configurations on the screen. Under Save View 4, you may select your preference. 
Selecting this company will save the view in the company data. Saving the view for this company will enable other users in your network to access this view. This includes users who use the same data, such as data entry operators and accountants. Moreover, your chartered accounts or other stakeholders will be able to access the saved views when you share the data with them. If you generally work on a specific computer and just want to save a view for your reference, then it can be saved for all companies on this computer. Henceforth, you can access the view for any company that is loaded in this application. And if you do not make any selection, the view will be saved for all companies on this computer by default. For this instance, let us select this company with the name LedgerWise Bills Receivables for sharing. Let us see the views saved for this report. Click Change View or press Ctrl H. Now, as you can see, the view LedgerWise Bills Receivables for Sharing is saved for this company. You can also set or alter the default view. Let us see how. To set or alter the default view, click Change View or press Ctrl H. You can see that the saved views are listed and you can easily identify the views saved for this company and all companies with the help of the labels. Now, select set slash alter default view and press enter. The label default is appearing alongside the ledger wise bills receivables dash my view that we saved. Select the required view as default and press control A to save. Whenever you open the report, the default view will be on the one that is saved for all companies on this computer. Now, let us see how to delete views. To delete a view, press Ctrl H, then select Delete Saved Views and press Enter. Select the view you want to delete and press Enter. Click Yes or press Y to accept. The view gets deleted. You can also delete all the views at one shot if needed. Click Help or press F1. Go to Troubleshooting and press Enter. As you can see, there are options called Delete Views Saved for All Companies and delete views saved for this company. Let us delete views saved for all companies. Go to delete views saved for all companies. Press enter and then click yes. All the views saved for all companies will be deleted. However, the view that we just saved for this company will remain intact. Press alt G Type or select Ledger Wise Bills Receivables for sharing and press enter. As you can see, the view is accessible.